tell me about determination. What, what fueled your determination as a young player? When I ended up playing junior A hockey, I had a couple of setbacks in minor hockey in the sense that, you know, I was a late bloomer and I, I didn't get drafted during my major junior OHL year. And that, that, for some kids, that's a pretty devastating thing. I was actually cut from the team that year and had to go down and play a lower level. And that's, as they say now, is the biggest year of, the, of a teenager's life when it comes to hockey is that draft year. So I, I knew that the OHL really, really wasn't going to be a, r a route for me. So I focused and channeled everything into the NCAA. I wanted to get a scholarship. That was my determination. I set a goal for myself and I said, I'm going to do whatever it takes to get it. So give me a, an example. What were some of your short-term goals? Short-term goals I would use, uh, I used to, I had a coach early on that was real smart and he, he taught me how to break my performances up into five game segments and even one game segment and even period segments. So we, he would, we would break our goals up into what do we want to achieve in a season? So that might be win a championship, uh, win your division, uh, different uh, set number amount of wins. So those would be more of your team goals and then ultimately get, to get a scholarship. And then we would break them down into five game segments. We'd say we want to win three out of these five games. You know, And then with every game, I would break it down into, I want to come out of the game with four block shots, uh, seven finished checks, three shots on net, and a plus one, plus minus rating. So it was a, I was able to quantify my goals. I and mean, People think that hockey is more or less about goals and assists, but there's really a lot of things you can quantify in, in the game of hockey that people don't look at and they don't appear in a stat sheet. But those are ultimately what the scouts are, looking, are always looking for. They, you know, they don't look at stat sheets when they scout players. They, they come in person and they want to see specific things that they can do to fill a role on their team. So I was able to break all of everything down into these small segments and it allowed me to kind of manage my confidence that way as well. I was able to, if I had a tough game, I, I knew that I had to put it behind me and just focus on the next game and use those short-term goals to kind of build on. Go to sportsmentaltoughness.com to get your free video training and guided visualization mp3 on how to perform under pressure. I'm Craig Sigal, the Mental Toughness Trainer.